EV Madness Las Vegas to showcase over 100 Teslas and other EVs. For Tesla and other electric vehicle owners, driver meetups provide an avenue for celebration of new technology. As well as increasing awareness and education for these drivers, in addition to networking activities. One such event is the upcoming EV Madness Las Vegas that is set to take place from the 16th 18th of June. Already, more than 100 EV owners have registered for the free event. Those in attendance will find good company among the Tesla and other automakers' vehicles in attendance. There is a packed schedule of activities, including photo video events, group drives and dinners, and networking opportunities. Sponsored by only used Tesla and EV resource, the event and its hosts have encouraged donations to Autism Speaks and PS Academy Arizona. Ultimately, these events serve an important role to help shift away from gas vehicles to EVs and towards increased sustainability. Source. Reposted and summarized from Evanex at Inside EVS. Shopping for a Tesla is like shopping with Amazon Prime. Recently, Tesla analyst Adam Jonas from Morgan Stanley has made some compelling comparisons between Tesla and Amazon Prime. With their constant pricing updates, Tesla's process for buying an electric car is easily comparable with the ease of an Amazon Prime purchase. Jonas shared that when it comes to his own experience in trading his minivan in for a new SUV. It was apparent that the experience of buying a car from a dealer was way more difficult than that of a Tesla purchase. Jonas notes that the advantages Tesla has, mainly resulting from its direct sales system, is helping create a visible discrepancy between the legacy car buying experience and the Tesla experience. As Morgan Stanley believes revenue stemming from Tesla's direct sales to be perhaps its most underappreciated advantages. It can be said that this process makes buying a car from Tesla just as easy as buying anything on Amazon. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside EVS. Tesla is reportedly mobilizing Chinese suppliers to open factories in Mexico. Tesla has been spearheading the effort to mobilize its Chinese suppliers to open factories in Mexico. Delaying their response to the move could cost businesses billions of dollars in orders. Hence, many Chinese suppliers have already begun to move their operations to the country. This is a crucial investment as the North American country provides favorable terms for exporting vehicles and parts to the United States via the USMCA. And other policies, in addition to tax breaks on supply chains and talent development subsidies. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. Tesla's vehicle sales process is a competitive advantage, says Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas recently bought a car from a traditional dealer and his experience was far from positive. The analyst deliberately chose a car that was in short supply and struggled to find a dealer who would sell for the MSRP price. When he arrived at the dealer, the seller reneged on their promise and asked for thousands above MSRP. Yet, he was only able to acquire the car at MSRP by using a screenshot as proof. This negative experience highlighted the advantages of Tesla's direct selling model which works for consumers. Ensuring that the same prices are paid by all those in the region where the store is located. This differentiation in the vehicle buying experience has become increasingly clear with the superior efficiency of Tesla's sales model. Thus providing a competitive advantage for the manufacturer. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. Tesla Model 3 and Model Y hacks for squeezing out the most range. Tesla Model 3 and Model Y owner Andy Sly recently shared his thoughts on maximizing driving range and efficiency. After a road trip, 
SLY's Model Y range was 100 miles short of its EPA estimate. While in another instance, his Model 3's battery health dropped to an abysmal 7%. Through a video, Sly has looked at what might have caused the reduced efficiency of his two Teslas and how to tackle the issue. The EPA range of Tesla's cars are slightly optimistic, according to the YouTuber. He explains that Tesla runs five different range tests, whereas many other automakers merely run two. One for city driving and the other for highway. The additional tests are executed at slow speeds and this is where Teslas take the lead because of their inbuilt efficiency. Cabin heating and cooling systems have to be taken into consideration when analyzing EV efficiency. And in this regard, running the auto mode instead of the manual mode helps save energy. Additionally, the sentry mode and battery preconditioning both consume a notable amount of power which could have been metabolized to augment the range. The well-being of the tires is also something which is often neglected, but can have a considerable impact on the range. Source. Reposted and summarized from Suvrat Kothari at Inside EVS. Tesla may be negotiating plans for a huge new factory in Spain. Rumors are claiming that Tesla might be currently negotiating a deal to construct an electric vehicle EV assembly factory in the region of Valencia, Spain that will require an investment of over $4.5 billion. The company is making plans for a larger reach across the world and a greater annual production capacity. It appears Tesla is negotiating with the General Etat Valenciana and has reportedly signed a confidentiality agreement. The local newspaper Cinco Dias alleges that this is partially compared to Volkswagen's upcoming EV battery factory in the same area. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has still not commented on the story or any rumors about it. General Etat President Shimo Puig has unveiled the regions that could give residence to around 10 major companies. At the moment that is all the information available on this developing story. But should more details become known, they will be shared. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside EVS.